If you can be hypnotized, does that mean that you're somehow weak-minded or gullible? Hi, I'm Dan Ross from Silicon Valley Hypnosis Center, and in the Hypnosis Mythbuster series, I'm going to answer that question today. So sometimes people ask, well, you know, if I go into it, does it mean I'm, you know, giving up power? Does it mean I'm somehow gullible or weak-minded or something like that? And like a lot of the other myths, it simply just isn't true. In fact, the opposite is true. Um, in order to go into hypnosis, you need to be open to suggestion. Another word for that is being open to learning. And there's plenty of psychological evidence and industrial psychology as well, like companies know that um, people that are more open to learning tend to be more successful, tend to make better employees. They tend to be above average in intelligence because guess what? How do you get more intelligent? Being open to learning new things. So really this process of going into hypnosis is like that process of learning something new. It's taking in new information into your unconscious mind. So what we find, find is that the above average intelligence people tend to be the ones that go into hypnosis better. Uh, in fact, one of the things that we look for when we say for people that, that can't necessarily go into hypnosis is someone who has an IQ of 70 or below, so much below average intelligence. Um, we're often reminded, you know, don't, they won't necessarily be able to go into hypnosis or make a good client. So um, if you can go into hypnosis, it means that, you know, congratulations, you know, you are one of those people that's open to suggestion and probably above average intelligence.